hello welcome back to the youtube channel i am about to head to an event at a place called happy medium in the city with the brand ilia the makeup brand i'm wearing this cute sweater from house of sunny and i had this bow that matched it so i thought it was cute it's like a very chilled event i think we're doing like a collage sort of thing to celebrate the launch of their new eyebrow product but yeah, Lucy's going, so I'm excited to see you there. This is the full fit. coffee i usually get a small they gave me a large i think i paid for the large so i just didn't ask so this is what i ended up with but i am walking to everybody which is like a wellness beauty space they have them in the city and they also have them one in williamsburg oh guys i go there now for laser hair removal which before when i was in the city i went to satori laser hair removal and if you don't do laser hair removal you need to get with the program because it's literally the best shit of my life like I used to wax before in like high school and it was the worst pain I've ever fucking felt in my life and laser obviously hurts but the reward is just so much more and I don't think it hurts nearly as bad as waxing I've done my armpits I've done my lower legs which you can't really do lower legs in the summer because you're tan so I'm recently am redoing Brazilian because after a couple years like some hair comes back but it's like barely anything like I probably shave down there like once every two weeks I mean, unless I'm like going in a bikini and then I'm like, okay, I should do it now. Like, I literally don't think about it, but like little hairs come back and it's really thin. So I just want to keep up with it. And my armpits, I have not redone in ages and they're like good. I literally never shave my armpits ever and I don't get any hair there at all. My legs have grown back quite a bit, but I just need to keep it up in the winter and do like enough sessions to where it's not going to come back anymore. But everybody is definitely the nicest studio I've done it at. I think you can use Ella 20 if you want to book anything at everybody. I also did like Satori in the city. It's just not as nice and like cute and like cleanly, but it still did the job. So try that if you're, I went to the one on 14th and all the people there were really, really nice. Today I'm actually doing EM sculpt, which a lot of people do on their abs. They offered it to me, so I was like really excited to try it and share my experience, but I'm actually doing it on my glutes because I don't really need it on my abs and I mean maybe I do but like I feel like it hurt me more there and on my glutes it literally just feels like someone's twerking for me which is like so fun and you just like sit there for like 25 ish minutes and it's apparently equivalent to like equivalent to like 30,000 fucking squats in the gym and I want that fat ass so that's what I'm doing today those are the paddles that like go on your booty cheeks and then you lay here for like 20 minutes and play on your phone. Before I head into Allo, I'm making myself a snack since I'm gonna be there for a while. I'm just cutting up a red pepper and eating it with this spicy love hummus, which I actually don't love the flavor of this hummus that much, but with the pepper, it's really good because the flavor of the pepper like goes well with it.
but I have a call in 10 minutes and James has been ordering this on Amazon Brooklyn Builds Home. So good. But apparently it's pretty expensive. Easiest best snack. Will you get me a big bag of the spicy? Yeah. Wow, I'm very impressed. I just came up here and James put in these shelves in our upstairs bathroom. And I mean, there's so much storage. This is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna go in and definitely reorganize, but I'm impressed. This helps so much. It was before just like sitting in there. So this is the plant store that I came to by myself the other day and was obsessed and we're back because we need a new indoor plant. James is with me to carry it back this time. So I am on my way to two super fun events tonight. I'm going to Prada first, which very cool that I was invited to that. I was actually invited to one in December with them and it was super fun. And then I'm Estimated going to the- time in traffic, nine minutes. I'm going to the Set Active dinner at Palma, which is like a very common place that a lot of brands do brand dinner because it's so beautiful. I actually hosted one with Tan Lux there in November of last year and it was like so beautiful. It was in the garden. I'm not sure if theirs will be in the garden, but I think it'll be pretty cool. Tinks is hosting it. So they actually invited me this week. Maybe someone dropped out or something, but I was like, yes, I'll come. I'm already going to the city for one event. So I'll go to that one. And my friend who was meant to come with me to this event bailed last minute. Thankfully, Lucy's gonna be there, but it worked out well. I'm wearing this really cute shop bop dress. I had it on my stories and people really, really liked it. It's super comfy material. And then I'm just wearing these little belly flats that I also got on Shopbop from Mason Margiela. And yeah, I'm excited. My goal, which let's see if I stick to it, but as an influencer going to all of these events or like getting invited, you have like an event every single night if you want to. I try to be extremely selective with my events because it is really draining. A lot of times they are not worth it to go to and now I'm usually in an Uber going to and from Brooklyn and I really just like to be selective and choose the ones that mean something to me and like I have a relationship with the brand and it's not just like a random invite. But if you wanted to, you could go to an event every single night as an influencer and get free food and get free drinks whatever but it is like a lot of not a lot of pressure but like i always just like say yes to the glass of wine or the champagne at all of these events sorry that squeaking is so bad and sometimes i wake up hungover and i'm like that was just like so dumb to like why am i hungover right now it's literally a friday like it makes me less productive less productive during the day so like I went to an event on Tuesday, everyone was having wine, and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to do it. And I had the worst mocktail I've ever had in my whole life. It made me wanna drink even more having that mocktail, and I didn't do it, and obviously the next day I felt amazing. I was so happy I didn't drink. So my goal tonight is to not drink at all. I'm gonna be easy on myself because I feel like if this dinner is like super lit and they're pouring wine, I'll have a glass or two of wine. But right now my goal is to not drink because they don't want to be hungover and I usually get carried away like when I'm drinking with all these girls like chit-chatting having the best time taking photos you know like getting to know people I just sip away and like that's my issue and that's why I'm like it's like none so I don't get hungover because one leads to two two leads to three and then I'm drunk going home and hungover the next day so the goal is to not be hungover hopefully I succeed I'm gonna succeed.
to announce that I made it home. I made my sleep tea and I did not consume one drop of alcohol and was peer pressured the whole night because usually I'm always the one with the glass of wine. And usually I would have been like, okay, fuck it, I'll just have one, but I didn't and I feel so good and it's 11.15 and I'm clear headed and I'm loving this right now. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I am. I am proud of myself. And I want to keep it up. I have gotten all packed up in my new green away suitcase. My friend Alex is coming to meet me here. And then we're going to walk to pick up our rental car. I rented us a BMW convertible, which I'm so fucking excited about. And then we're going to drive to Roscoe, which is in upstate New York. I think it's like two and a half hours. It's not that far. I'm a little bit nervous to drive and Alex doesn't have her like Australian license here. So I'm going to be the one driving, but I'm going to do great. And we're going to have the most wholesome, fun little girls weekend. I got scarfed. <laughs> got the car. It was not easy. I'm dripping sweat, but this is a Ready? sleigh. Yeah, it's like vintage, it's chic, it's it's giving, it's giving. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Oh Girls my god, again. shut up. Dude, you look insane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, stop. Need it's ripping sweat my armpits. It's an incredible sleigh. All right, time to get us up safe. Okay, we made it to Roscoe and are staying at the cutest place called the Yara. It's very little, only has a few rooms, but it is so adorable. <laughs> Oh damn, we lost the mist. Damn it! It is Come so. Back. <laughs> we're Come literally back. walking on the side of the road. <laughs> I walked us the complete wrong way. Guys, this paddock <laughs> makes me want to get on a horse so fucking bad. You imagine galloping through that paddock? Yeah, it's we should. Like, so fucking late. <laughs> so Alex <coughs> tried to do a little um little funny business out of the window last night and she knocked the whole screen onto No, the screen fell out into the street and I was like <laughs> <laughs> And she went and got it at like literally eleven PM last night and carried it through the hotel. Well, I didn't want to tell we, yeah, I know. I didn't want to tell them. <laughs> and then she just watched the YouTube video and fixed it, so yeah. well, I'm handy, so yeah, <laughs> Well it's Hopefully it gets sunnier. <laughs> Literally cannot bring her anywhere. She's a full, <laughs> full blown gel manicure in the bathroom. Hey, I've got no money to get my nails done. <laughs> okay, so we have just got ready. We are going to walk down to the brewery, which is like a 17 minute walk and definitely not on a road that you're supposed to be like walking It's in. like a highway. It's literally a highway and we did it last night to dinner so it's like beyond dinner like even further but we walked back in like the pitch black like it was hammered from the wine and full of pasta 
and it was not the safest but i don't want to even drink one beer and drive the car because i'm little and like i just don't think that's smart so we're gonna walk because i know if we're going to brewery we're gonna have a beer and that's the safest way to do it <laughs> drink responsibly <laughs> Alex and I are just stopping to admire every every beautiful cottage the house. Little house. <laughs> That's so cute. While it's walking like, on the highway. It's like a dollhouse. It's so cute. This. Yeah. I'm gonna try and see if it's the same thing. Alex's first root beer. <laughs> first ever. It's delicious. Mmm. It's so good. Yes. This with ice cream, oh, a yes. root beer flow would be yes. so good. <laughs> Got our flights of beer. So guys. Are we gonna go light to dark? I guess so. He went just past the coffee coffee. Walk around, 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 around what you have. <laughs> Milady. Wow. <laughs> Yum. Morning, you guys it is Sunday Alex and I are actually going to pick up James he's upstate too and he was doing like a boys weekend with like 10 dudes and we want him to drive this car home so that we don't have to so we're gonna go get him and make him go to lunch with us and he gets to experience the, the convertible now and it's so fun should I put it down yeah this car has been like the best it's so fun so nice, like driving through the rolling green. What is this trunk partition? What? Oh, here we go. What's going on? Run around at the part partition, please. Like the trunk is too full or something. Is it recording still? Or? No, it is. Alex found a YouTube video. What? What do you have to do though? It was like a thing you have to pull down. Oh. It's like a random like thing. Good to know. I don't know. Okay, we need to get gas at some point too. Yeah. Maybe we can in Livingston Manor. Okay, let me find out where the hell James is. Are we getting him first? Yeah. Nice. Look at what the cat dragged in. Oh, this is so lovely. It's so nice. 